Well, hey guys, welcome back to the workshop. I've got a couple of little updates for you. Actually, no, they're big updates. So let's get right into it. So the first thing I've got in my hands here is obviously it's a wing. I've moved on to assembling the wings and doing some details and some other little things to it. And first I wanna point out that I do have my navigation lights in. I'm using a leftover LED set from another airplane, just sort of recycling them as fun and uh, figured that since this would typically be like a uh, air show style display uh, not necessarily a period accurate model that uh, proper navigation lights would be installed for certification and safety purposes so i went ahead and installed those moving on down to the inboard part of the wing i've also installed pylons now these are the stock pylons that come with the airplane I put them in location and then traced around them, cut little recesses and then fitted it flush so that it all looks seamless. I've also incorporated my remote bomb drop mechanism that I can drop bombs and I've also designed those drop tanks for this airplane as well. I've also started fitting the landing gear and when I installed the, the gear covers, I noticed they were a little bit too round and a little bit too high. So I ended up baking them in my oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit for five minutes. And when it came out, uh, it, was, it was hot, but it wasn't you know, a pile of goo, it was, it was moldable. So I was able to put it on the airplane and then sort of shape it, massage it into the final shape that I needed. One other thing that I'm gonna put in here too is I've covered up the panels on the bottom of the wing that were when I removed the covering they were open spaces so I did that after I had run all the wires and made sure everything was okay to close up the wing before I did that and again it's just a, a couple pieces of ply underneath to help support the edge and then a piece of balsa sheet that I cut to shape and then glued in place with medium CA I went ahead and used some spackling to close up the seams a little bit and once I apply the glass with the water-based polyurethane that spackle will harden up really nicely and perfectly smooth moving on from there i also have <laughs> a fun little detail is uh, a landing light and and the landing light is also retractable and the landing light does turn on and off i'm using a little polo uh, controller circuit board to control the on off of the lights both for navigation and the landing light and it works extremely well and i've not had any problems with them yet the last i guess major update <laughs> is that i'm starting to install the inner gear door flaps i've gone ahead and done a fiberglass layup for these and i'm working on the hinges and the proper hinge location so that nothing will interfere and i'll get the right uh, uh, degree of opening so uh, yeah it's just uh, moving right along moving right along for the other smaller details like some of these hinges that I'm having to print like the I 3d printed the hinge for the landing light and I'm also using printed hinges for the inner gear doors I've had to switch to a smaller print nozzle uh, of 0.2 millimeters and what that it gives me is a lot of precision around these smaller parts that are a little more intricate and that way I have a stronger part uh, at the at the smaller level as well and it's not as goopy or overage or whatever anyway what <laughs> the main purpose of switching over to that was not necessarily to cover those parts but to print this this is the control instrument panel the front instrument panel I designed months and months and months ago but uh, it has little screw heads on it and all of those details are picked out perfectly in this print this is the very first print that I tried and it worked marvels I don't have to reprint at all uh, but some of these parts I now need to process in a acetone vapor bath so the whole idea behind an acetone vapor bath is that the vapor uh, slightly melts the uh, ABS prints that I use and it smooths them out uh, so they don't look 
so much like uh, 3D prints. And really what I'm doing is I'm just trying to even out some of these things. The, the print striations aren't that bad at all to begin with, but I just want to refine that a little bit more. And I'm going to be using this glass jar with uh, a metal, metal lid. <laughs> uh, really all I'm going to do is I'm going to put some acetone in this, put a little tray for my part to sit on top of so that the part is not in the acetone vapor bath. And I'm just going to put it on my 3D printer with the the heat bed turned on for, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes, an hour. We'll see. Uh, it's something that I've never really done before. Seen it done lots of times. But uh, uh, with some of the more intricate parts that I'll be doing, like the uh, brakes, the brake calipers, uh, the wheel hubs, and certainly the extra details on the instrument panel, they're going to be smoothed out quite a bit and look a little that much better by using the acetone vapor bath. So guys, that's pretty much it. That's uh, all I've really got for the update today. Uh, so if you're looking at the checklist, I really don't have that much left. Really, it comes down to wrapping up the inner gear doors and running some fiberglass over top of the wings. And that's really it. And then we're on to some surface finishing, uh, surface prep, and I'll be able to start putting down this aluminum tape. It's been a long journey to get to this point. But again, I want to make sure I'm handling everything as minimally as possible after I'm applying this tape because it is quite fragile. And this is true on, you know, these professional Top Gun winning airplanes as well, that you just kind of have to baby this surface. And that's the way it's going to be. There's going to be imperfections more than likely by the time any of you see it. Um, but uh, that's the way it's going to be. And you know, as we go, uh, I'm, I'm going to be putting together some instructional tutorial as part of this update series, because again, there is no central location uh, tips, tricks along the way. I've I've seen little pieces here and there and there, and I want a central place for all you guys to be able to try this technique, and that way we can all learn along together, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So stay tuned. We've got some aluminum panels coming up very shortly. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Joshua Orchard.